Hello guys. So in this video, we will add the attributes for the features we created in the previous video. So right now we will start by the counties and the way to add the attributes is by two ways. You right click on the layer you want to add attributes to and you open the attribute table. When the attribute table opens, you can start edit the attributes right away from here. So for example, we can see which county is this one. We can click here so we can highlight it. As you see here, this one is highlighted, but we cannot see the name of the county because it's actually exists on the raster image. So the way to see the raster image, we make sure you choose the layer you want to change and we are going to change the transparency for it from appearance. And when you go to appearance, you can change the transparency here till you be able to see the name of the raster below it. So now we can see that this one is San Bernardino. So we are going to enter San Bernardino and we press enter. Uh, this one, let's see which one is this because it have the same name. This one actually is Imperial. So you double click here and you say Imperial. And you do the same for all the other features. The other way to update the attribute, you go to edit and you select the select tool and you click on any feature and you can click on attributes here so you can view the attribute window on the right side right here and you can enter the name from here San Diego and you press enter as well remember to make sure you have your auto apply enabled and once in a while make sure you click save so you don't lose your savings and you say yes I want to save all my edits so that's the way we do this for uh, the counties layer I will do it right now for all the counties and then we will come back and see how can we do it for the Lions and the Orange County cities So now we finished enter the county name for all the counties using the raster image. Now we can bring our uh, transparency the same way it was before. So we will go to appearance and we will remove this. And if we want to see the labels for using the name, you can right click on the layer and we say enable label and it will show the labels using the county name. We will see how can we update the labels and we have one separate video for the labels specifically so we can see how we can customize the labels. But right now, as you see here, it automatically uh, found the name as the one that it can be used as county name and it added as labels. Here also we need to calculate the areas. Calculate geometry here is very similar to what in ArcMap. So we will right click and say calculate geometry right here so we can calculate the area automatically without the need to enter it. So we will click calculate geometry. It will open like a geoprocessing window for us. And here it show us uh, in the input feature, which you can choose which layer you want to do the calculate geometry to. So right now, because we right click on the counties, it have the county selected. And here, because we right click on the column of area, it automatically selected area, but you can also select any other field you want, or you can do calculate geometry for several fields in the same time. So we are going to just do for the area right now. And we will say, I want to calculate the area. And once it shows the area, it will ask you what area unit you want to use. So here we will say I want because the county is so big. So we will calculate it using square miles. And here you can also make your calculation based on a coordinate system different than the map coordinate system in a way that you can make your calculation for the area based on another coordinate system other than the one used for the layer. So when you click here, it will show you you have your map the map have a coordinate system and each layer inside your map have a different coordinate system but we know that our all our layers have the same coordinate system as the map so we can choose this one and even if we let it empty it will automatically take the coordinate system of the layer we are doing the calculation for but if you want to use any other coordinate system you can select your coordinate system by clicking on this uh, globe right here and you can select any coordinate system you want after we add all the properties we will say okay it will take a few seconds to do the calculation and you will see that all the area values have been added right here it only added for this one because we have this one selected so make sure when you do the calculation area you have uh, you clear all your selection and you do it for the entire column say okay now do the calculation again and it will do it for all the features. As you see here right now, it shows the square miles and numbers and there is a lot of decimal numbers. So we can right click again and say, I want to change how this field look like. 
by going to here and right click and say go to fields so this one will open the fields window you can uh, click on this one this is the one we want to remove the decim decimal numbers from so we will come here to the number format and we double click here and it will give us the option to open the formation choice so we will choose numeric we'll leave it as it is but we will change the decimal places to zero and we will say okay and we will close this one and it will ask us do you want to save all changes i will say yes but keep in mind that you need to save your edits on the map before you actually save this edits on the field so right now we have to go to the counties again make sure we choose edit and we click the save and now we have we can go back here and say close it will ask us do you want to save it it will be yes and that's fine and it will save the edits and close the fields as you see here right now the area changed from a decimal number to a whole number so this is a way you can change the format for the field and we will come back to that later so let's close this uh, attribute table right now and go to orange county cities and we will do the same for orange county cities uh, we will right click on it and open attribute table and you will choose each city and make sure you hide the counties you hide LA freeways and California raster to make sure that you have the raster for Orange County cities and you will zoom in here and make sure you change the appearance and the same thing we did with the counties we will do with this layer and as you see here each city have an arrow pointing to it and there is the name and the average house price so we also need to add the average house price so we will add a field by clicking here and say I want to add the field and say the field is average house price it will be type long and alias is average I can add spaces here price and number format we can make it without any decimals because this one doesn't have any decimals numeric no decimals okay and we can also as you see here because it's it's a dollar sign you can choose it with currency and it will show it as a currency because we are going to add the average house price which is an actual actual currency and now we added our new field we are going to close this one it will say yes and it will apply the changes and add a new field to our orange county cities to add the average house price so what we will do we will do the city names based on this names here we will add the average price house as you see here I cannot see the price house from the lines so let's hide the freeways and hide this points too we only need the raster and the actual layer we are editing right now and after I enter the city name and the average house price and I will enter the city name based on this value here I will enter the average house price based on this value here and calculate the area using calculate geometry so I will do this right now and I'll let you do it as well Okay, so now I finished entering all the information for each city. As you see here in the table, we have all the fields filled up. I filled up city name, average house price, and the area as well. So now let's open the freeways. Let's hide the Orange County city and hide the Orange County raster. And open California freeways. So here we will do the same. We will go to edit. I use the select tool to select one feature and then enter the freeway name based on the name of the field right here so as you see here this is a 405 and this is the 5 if you cannot see it because the line width is big you can always come here double click here and we change the width of the line to be 2 and we say apply and we go back again to do our edits so this time I'm not gonna change it into the attribute table I'm going to change it in the attribute window so I'm going to close this one for Orange County and just choose each line and make sure I enter here the name of the freeway and you will see here that we have segments for each freeway so make sure you just name the freeway the same name it have so this one is 405 also when I select this one 
also this one is 405 so just keep doing that for all the lines you have and after you finish it we will be able to see the names for all the lines and then we will calculate the length the same way we calculate the area for the other layers so let's do it Now I think I entered all the lines just to make sure I will right click on the freeways, open the attribute table and check all the freeway names as null. You see we, there's one here. Let's double click on it. This one 605. And here also we have another one. Double click on it. And this one is part of And this one is part of the five. Or five. Also, we have two more here. See, sometimes you miss lines if you choose it and you change it from the attribute window. So it's better to always open the attribute table so you can see the feature you are editing and you make sure you enter all the values. 405. So now I think, yeah, we got all, all of them, so that's good. So now we will calculate the length the same way, but make sure you save your edits, say yes, and you right click. And when you open Calculate Geometry for the length, it will uh, give you the same options as you have for the area, but you here have the length because automatically uh, for the lines, there is no area, there's only length. For the points, there is X and Y only. Here it shows you that you can create the length, you can create the X and Y for the first point or the last point or the center point. So here we will just calculate the length and we will choose the units to be miles and we will say OK. It will calculate it and it will show us the length for... And again I think I have one selected here exactly so let's make sure, always make sure before you do field calculation to clear your selection so you don't have to do it twice. And as you see here, the length have been calculated in miles. So now we finished for the freeways as well. So now let's close this freeway table and we will go to the cities, our last feature class. And let's zoom to this one. And this one, as you see, just points that represents the Orange County cities. So this points is actually represent the same cities and have the same average house price as the Orange County cities polygon layer. So when we open the attribute table, we are not going to enter the city name here because we can actually calculate it automatically based on this relationship with the Orange County cities polygon because they are actually representing the same thing. So if instead of adding the same information, we will just use a join or a relate or a relationship class so we can have the city name for each point from the Orange County cities polygon layer because we already entered the data here. But what we will do here, we will calculate the lat and long for each point by right click on each one, by right click on the field and do calculate geometry. But because this a point feature class, you will see that you only have the options to calculate the point X or Y or X and Y coordinate together. So here the lat is Y and we will add for the other field as well is the long and it will be the x values and we also can choose what kind of format we want to add our x and y or lat and long so here as you see here same as input it will be the same as the map units but here as you see you can have your degrees in any format you want from this options right here so i'm going to choose decimal degrees from here and i will say okay and it will calculate both fields in the same time so here we have the lat and we have the long Make sure to save your edits and make sure you save your project data. Also, you can add the attributes when you draw your features. So if you are drawing or digitizing any maps or adding any data on the map, when you drawing the feature after you double click to finish the drawing or adding points, you will have the attribute window opened for you so you can add the data right away. After you draw the feature, you add the attribute right away if you know it. Or you can add it later in the attribute table or you can add it later in the attribute window as we did right now. So that's it for this video. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.